A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, proclaiming the mystery of God, I did not come with sublimity of words or of wisdom, for I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and much trembling, and my message and my proclamation were not with persuasive words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of spirit and power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. The word of the Lord. My dear brothers, today's reading, Paul asks us to take a step back for a moment and to ask ourselves, by what authority do we have the right to call ourselves preachers, proclaimers of the mystery of God? When Paul shows up to this Corinthian church, you see, he shows up to a church which is divided and dismissive. Despite being the founder, or we might want to say, despite being the president of Corinthian Institute, his followers now doubt his authority and his teaching. And yet, how does Paul respond? Paul responds by reminding us that no gifts nor talents, no sacrifices nor experiences, no degrees nor pastoral experiences serve as the foundation for our right to proclaim ourselves as preachers. No, for all knowledge and experience we have is nothing compared to our knowledge of Christ himself crucified. Our lives, our words, our ability to even be in this very chapel tonight is only made possible through and by the power of God. The very fact that you and I are alive and sitting in this chapel as Dominican friars is a testament to the power of God. The very fact that you and I can stand and pray in the very presence of God in the holies of holies, in and with this most blessed sacrament, is the greatest testament of God. And so by what authority are we preachers, proclaimers of the mystery of God? We are preachers because God has called us by his own power. God makes things obnoxiously simple for us tonight. And he shows us that all we need to do is to respond to his call. To respond to his call to proclaim the mystery of God. Yet this foundation of our calling as preachers is, while primary, is only half of Paul's teaching for us tonight. For Paul also models for us that to be preachers of the word, proclaimers of the mystery of God, you and I also need to know ourselves. Surprisingly enough, majority of today's readings from Paul, Paul kind of goes through this self-examination. His humility, his honesty is fed by his real encounter with the risen Lord, which allows him to recognize and name his weaknesses, his fears, and the source of his tremblings. Better still, any power or any wisdom that Paul thinks comes from, that Paul says comes, comes from himself, Paul immediately recognizes is not coming from himself, but coming from the power of the Holy Spirit. We see this again repeated in later works of Paul to the Galatians. Not I who live, but Christ who lives in me. 
And so I ask, how have we come to the chapel today? What knowledge, what emotions, what experiences do we bring into this chapel right now? And so again, I ask my dear brothers, by whose authority are we here today? But by what right are we allowed to be called a preacher, a proclaimer of the very mystery of God? Dear Lord.